first at five, making changes for your safety. Tonight, we're learning more about huge changes coming to a busy South Fulton intersection. Now, we have covered fatal crashes going back at least seven years at the intersection of Jonesboro and Bethesda Roads. Tracy A. McPeer joins us live from that intersection. And Tracy, people living there told you that these changes are desperately needed. That's right. And just hours ago, we met at this intersection with GDOT and leaders from South Fulton, and they filled us in on the changes that involve paint, signs, and even a new traffic light. But they say the one that will make the biggest difference will force drivers to slow down. Cars total, people being airlifted, the, the traffic held up for hours. Monica Peart runs a daycare at the intersection of Jonesboro Road and Bethsaida Road in South Fulton. We hear the crashes, we come outside. Peart shared these pictures and videos of crashes that have happened at this intersection. She says a driver even hit one of their teachers as they walked to a nearby bus stop. Somebody swerved around, forced the car into her, had to be airlifted to Grady. The teacher survived, but South Fulton police say other Others were not so lucky. Within the last year here, we've had a total of five fatalities, including two people who died in this crash we covered in March of last year. City of South Fulton Police Major Marcus Denard says many drivers are not yielding, not stopping, and not paying attention. But most of all, they're speeding. 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour. So now GDOT and South Fulton are making changes to the intersection to cut down on speeding and fatalities. Adding a traffic light, refreshing the striping and pavement markings, and even putting in pedestrian crossings. The traffic light is temporary with the ultimate goal here to create a roundabout. GDOT District Engineer Paul Denard says roundabouts can decrease crashes by 60%. When you do a roundabout, essentially the worst crash you can have is a side swipe. Peart says she's excited for all these changes, but she would like to add one more. I would like to see some memorial for, for those people that have passed on because of this, this highway. Now, GDOT tells me that the roundabout could take two to four years to create, but that new traffic light will be in place by the end of this summer. All right, Tracy, thank you so much.